G'day, I'm Luke the Drifter. Today I'm going to show you our DPOR package deal. That's a drifter pull-out with return package deal. Now I've been building this kitchen for about 10 years now. It's a mainstay of our business. Um, we build about a dozen of these every week. I'll do a couple of videos. One quickly to show you what's going on. I'll do a second uh, a bit more detail. So you can have a look at that as well. Now, open the tailgate. First thing you do is you pull out the tucker box, right? That's it there. So the thing is the kitchen's only roughly six foot long. The last square foot of space you've got in there, very hard to find something that'll fit exactly in that space. So we've made the tucker box. Very good. Now that's built for uh, perishables, dry food, fruits and vegetables. Mainly fruits and vegetables and bread is what we put in there. Um, put some newspaper in the bottom. Got a little lid that acts as a shelf there. You got air holes, it's up off the ground on our black plastic strip, and that's great. Now, being perishables, you know, before you go away camping, you can take that inside, you can um, fill it up with stuff out of the fridge or the cupboard, chuck it in your trailer, and same thing when you come home, you take it back inside. So, very handy, and it fills up that little bit of space there. Now, this is the kitchen here. Pull him out about halfway, pop the leg down. Now, what we do is we pull it out. To about where the hinge is here. Okay, there's another set of legs on there underneath if you like, so you can use that for freestanding if you wanted to. It's no problem for me to pull this kitchen right out and have it freestanding. So lift the lid off. This is our little return section. The front comes off, hooks into there. The legs come out, they'll drop down. We'll get that about level. So this is how quick it is to set up your kitchen. Now remember the kitchen is the focal point of your whole camp so it's very important to have a nice organised setup. Right? And that's it pretty much ready to go. So yeah that's our drifter pull out with return. So it's a pull out kitchen and it's got a return. This one as you can see it is a right hand side version so a driver side. We would also do them for the left hand side if the tailgate seems on the other side. Now quickly there's uh, the cupboard. Now that would be generally dry food, so packets, noodles, uh, pasta, tin cans, all that sort of stuff would go in there. So dry food, your uh, fruit and veggies and bread in the tucker box and the wet food in the fridge. That works great. You've got three drawers on this version. Okay, beautiful drawers. Drawers are such a good thing to have when camping and a real luxury. So we've got really nice drawers. Okay, the first one say cutlery. It's about 80 mils deep. Then you've got 95 mils for the drawer. That'll hold cups, things like that. And down here you can have plates and bowls, things like that. Underneath here you've got space for a fry pan, a chopboard, things like that. And in this basin here you've got plenty of room for your pots and pans. And the stove of course goes on top. There's a few different types of stoves, but we build that to suit most stoves. This one is our new Primus Red 2 burner. Okay, I've talked about that before, that's the best stove on the market at the moment. That's really good. Now here's the sink and the pump. Right. These red tubs now are really good. They've just come on the market from Primus. Look at that. It's got two tubs in the space of one. We've hooked that up to some water. And there's your tubs. Now very handy to have this second tub here. Right, it's down there out of the way and um, that's great. Now, during the day you're going to have a lot of cups and plates, bits and pieces that you want to wash up. They can all go in there. When it comes time to wash, you can sit it there, you can wash them here and you can drain them over here. It's very important to have that sequence of space. A lot of kitchens, you see the steel ones, particularly the Chinese ones, you know, you'll have a stove here and a sink there and you've got absolutely no bench space. You know, it's really pretty much useless to have a kitchen without the bench space and that's what makes the DPR is so good. This return here, it's really two metres of space on top of the bench space you've got here already. Anything you're not using at the moment can just go down underneath here. You've got lots of room there. A tucker box if you want can go underneath. Okay, a, a, a plastic shopping bag can uh, hook on the end of this here which is very good space for a rubbish bag. Now that bench space really is invaluable. There's only three of us camping, me, Cammy and my little boy Kaido, but we use all of that. Okay, so when you're serving out particularly, the other good thing it does is, you know, when you're serving out or when you're washing up or you're cooking, there's only really, you know, you could fit a couple of people in here, but that 
makes uh, much more utilised space. So someone can be standing here, right? They can be helping to serve out, to cooking, and the kids can come along and get their meals. Someone can be standing here washing up. So that makes a very usable bench space. Now generally, most trails these days are going to a standard eight foot awning, which comes out to about here. So even if you've got your wall closed in, you'll still have a good foot space to get in access this area here. Okay. Now that's the um, kitchen. We've got a hose that comes with it. That'll just quickly push onto there. Alright, push it onto the bottom of the pump. Now that would just go straight into the bottom of a jerry can. That's the easiest way to do it. If you don't have a tank on your trailer. Alright, put that in there like that. Plenty of room under there. And there's your water supply. Okay, not always using a sink, but you've got plenty of room there to do all your washing up. In fact, you can do it up here. Again, very flexible, lots of room. Okay, now the storage box here, that's how we do it. So, all the rest of your space, you know, you've got taken up now with a storage box. Okay, so it's a big long storage box. This box is seven foot long, all right, so it takes up the rest of the space. Now we'll make that exactly the size. Most trails these days are 7x4, which is 1200 by 21 but that does vary considerably. So the kitchen we put in first, and now whatever space is left over is taken up by the storage box. Now if you've got only 1150 width, your storage box will be slightly less. If you've got a little bit longer trailer, your storage box will be a little bit more. Out of the dozen or so we build every week, everyone's slightly different. Now you can still access that, no problems, even when the return's out. Now what we're doing is we're counterbalancing against the bed base. I can still reach in there, no worries. I've got some legs here that I can pull out and use, okay? So I can get into there, no worries. Now generally though, when you're using it, you won't need to use the legs too much during the day. Okay, I'll quickly put this away so you can see how easy it is again. Tuts go away. Now remember, when you've washed up and you've packed up all your kitchen gear, okay, it's all going back into the kitchen itself. So literally, this is how quick it is to pack your camper, okay, because when you've washed up and everything, things go back inside the kitchen, just like they do at home. Righto. Now, um, that top just goes like that. Return part files away. Now this little return has been brilliant. I was um, had a show in Adelaide 11 years ago. I was driving home from the show, a big long two day drive, and that's when I designed this little return section in my head. I was so excited when I got home, I ran into my shed and I basically built that. And um, you know that's been working fantastic ever since. The lid goes on top. Okay, it all clips together, nothing can come out. <coughs> now the trick here is to push the kitchen halfway away. So there's no weight on these legs anymore. A little pin there. Push them away like that. All right. Tucker box goes in and you're all packed up, ready to go home or move on. Now there's a the storage box again. You can see how we're counterbalancing against the bed base there. Okay. Again, if we want to pull the legs down, we can pull that storage box all the way out. Now generally you'll find if you're setting up your camp, you'll have a lot of stuff in here that you'll, you'll pull out and you'll use you know, during the weekend or the week you're camping. So you won't really need to go back into this back space so much. So generally we find is you'd pull it right out and the legs drop down when you first pull up. You can get things out of what you need, and then during the day, when you're using your storage box, you've only really got to pull it out half to two thirds away, and that's when the return will be there as well. Now, every storage box comes with a divider, okay? It's just got these little brackets here. We don't screw that in, because we don't really know where you want it. It comes with the screws, and all you've got to do is put that wherever you like, okay? It comes with one divider, you can get more if you like, but one is plenty, and that's it now. You know, some people say, you know, this setup takes up too much room, but I, you know, really doesn't take up any any space at all because 
you know, the trailer, this storage box and the kitchen is all storage in itself. Okay, so I say it's not take up any room. It really does create space for you. Without this type of setup, you've pretty much got stuff in boxes and tubs and plastic crates, all chucked in there. It's a bit of a mess generally, and there's a lot of wasted space. So with this type of setup, you can pack things neatly and you can get a lot more in. Okay, so we'll put that away. And that's pretty much it. So that's the DPOR package deal. Um, and thanks for watching.